Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video today on how to repaint a bus for OMSI. So I'm going to show you where to locate your files, um, where the temp, where the texture, where your bus file, where your bus files are, where your, and where your template will be and how to obviously repaint, add windows, but I'm going to do these over a space of two other videos so we're going to go with this one it's just how to locate files and then to open the files and then and then do like a base repaint and then in the second ep um, episode i'm going to do a more complicated repaint plus add windows and seat moquettes and everything like that and in the third one we're going to put everything together that's where we're going to do our ctis saving it all uh, the best way to save it and then obviously seeing it in the game. So I'm going to start off with showing you where all where I keep all of my files and where you, where where all the files will be. So let me just quickly go to here uh, this PC. So I'm going to quickly I'm going to quickly switch my OBS so you can see what I'm doing so we're going to transition that and you're going to be here in the in your this PC folder so you this is where obviously you will find your 3d object desktop documents but we're not we're not interested in that at the moment we are just interested in the Windows C file so with this PC Windows C I haven't got an SSD but we're not talking that so you want to go to either program files if you've got a 32-bit computer because that is where that's where everything your Steam will be installed. Or if most people nowadays have got a 64 bit computer, you want to go to Program Files x86, find Steam, Steam Apps, Common, OMSI 2. One more time. So this PC, Windows, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, OMSI 2. And this will be where you find your files for your separate files for everything. So your CD projects, spleens, maps, and most importantly, your vehicles. So we're going to go to vehicles. And today I'm going to show how to do the C400R because that already has templates and everything installed for you, which is a lot easier for me and for you. So we're going to go to City Bus 400, textures, and templates. Now, bearing in mind that if you have got the London if you've got London installed or if you've bought London you have two separate files called templates and templates templates is your C400R templates is the C400 which is a London variant so in templates we want to locate the exterior R file and we want to open that and that will bring us to our file and I'm, that hasn't loaded so I'm going to quickly change that to my window capture so you can see everything I'm doing because that is a lot easier <laughs> so we transition that and this will bring us to your exterior R file where everything will be in order you don't want to change anything in this you've got your guide which will guide you on where everything will need to be and we will use those in a second so I use a, I use a program called paint.net which I will locate in the description below it's very easy to install and if you haven't installed it and you've or you have installed it you want to go up to you want to go back to templates and you want to right click open with and you want to go to more apps and it'll be in here but you want to open it with paint.net or photoshop if you've got photoshop so okay and this will open it like this don't save so now we've got our base um plain template that, that, we, that we will be using to create our repaint so I'm just going to do a made up livery today we're going to do um, so you want to find your shapes and if you want because if you keep it on this it will just have outlines which which won't be much help to you so we want to go we want to click shape draw fill mode once which will go over, which will go over the template like this and that will cover everything. What I like to do is is to make the repaint a bit more realistic. I like to go onto my black color, and I like to paint these bits black, which will hide the colors. And same with the doors. I always recommend 
enough to paint over this, these bits, so the the window surrounds things. I don't know what they're called, but there we go. And you want to paint over these, so we're going to paint over these. And you can press Control and your mouse wheel just to zoom in and out of the uh, template. And then we will go to our doors, paint these black because I don't know any other company which paints their doors red or pink. I think most companies paint their doors black because it just looks nicer and it's easier. And we want to paint these bits black as well. So now that we have got our base um, repaints, now, now we want to add stickers or um, fonts or pictures or whatever. So we want to click, so let's just um, go up to here and it goes to our guides and this will guide you of what you, of what you can repaint. So we're going to repaint everything else. I'm not going to worry about the things, the window surrounds here. We're going to paint the roof. And we're going to paint the engine grills as well. Um, as it says, here, when painting stripes across joins, take note that uh, exact region has four pixels margin around the edge to allow for texture bleed. So we'll get rid of the guides because if you say with the guides, they it will come up on your bus in OMSI, and we don't want that. So to add new layers, you simply want to go to Add New Layer down here, and this will bring you to a new layer which you can add all of your different texts and fonts and stickers and everything. So we want to do just a, a base design today. So we're just going to do, if you want to change the color as well with your text, otherwise it won't show up like I just did there. So we want to do Kenzie repaints, if I could spell. And we're going to put this over here. And that's just it, all done, nice. And then maybe, maybe we can add like an image. So we'll go to open uh, documents and we can probably add, let's add a green line logo. Why not? Let's add green line. So if we go up to here, open, and that will open everything up for you. So all your PNG files or your stickers. So we've got a green line file and we're going to probably, we can paste this down here. So Kenzie repaints a green line and we can do that over here as well. Make sure you shrink it down so it looks good, but also doesn't look too big on the front of your bus. So that is mainly it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a bit of an example of how to, you know, open the files up, where you get your paint, where you get your files from, and most importantly, how to open them and how to, you know, um, locate your texture files and your OMSI2 directory where you'll find literally everything which OMSI has. So as I said in the next video I'm going to go through how to add, I'm going to do a more complicated livery so I'm not going to do a base design, I'm going to do maybe with one with stripes, maybe a swoop, uh, I'll maybe do a bit down here, it's like a separate uh, colour here, just out, um, stand it from the other ones, um, how to do windows and how to do seating moquettes. And in the third video, it's going to be about putting everything all together and then putting it into OMSI. So if you haven't got any questions, please feel free to ask me in either my Discord server or the comment section below. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been quite helpful to you. And have a good rest of your weekend. And I shall see you again on Sunday with another OMSI stream on Bus for the West Country. So have a good rest of your weekend and I shall see you again soon. Bye.